Oh, hi! This week's gonna be a little less silly of a video because the past week has been maybe one of the worst I've ever experienced it. And I know there's a lot of people that have had a way worse time this past week and I don't know that that's gonna get better anytime soon. I'm filming this the Saturday after the 2016 US presidential election happened. Though I have my feelings about it, I'm not getting into any level of politics. Please don't bring that into the comments section either. This is about a little tiny way that I have learned other people are trying to help. How I am trying to help as a straight, white, able-bodied, cisgendered person. I'm coming from a place of a lot of privilege. I have a woman, which takes me down a peg, get confused for a lesbian or a gay man, which I'm generally indifferent about, unless that puts me in danger. I mostly go about my day-to-day -day without being harassed by anyone, but I've had moments and I've been really fucking scared during those. One example is about a month ago, I was going to meet a friend for lunch in lovely Manchester, New Hampshire, which isn't a tiny backwoods town like most of New Hampshire, but I mean, we're like an hour north of Boston, so it's it's not like a huge metropolitan area either. Parked in Manchester pretty early and went to walk across the street to the library to see if it was open because it's a gorgeous building. Got out of my vehicle. There were only three people on the street for a Saturday afternoon. Totally normal. One of those three people was a middle-aged man at least twice my size that started screaming obscenities at me. And not that what I was wearing mattered, but it was like leggings with shorts over it and a coat. Like not showing the goods or anything. And this man just yells at me like I'm a Thanksgiving dinner he's been waiting all fucking year to eat. And also starts speeding up to catch up with me because I refused to respond to anything he was saying and just tried to quicken my pace as much as possible. Though I'm a fairly able-bodied person, I have a chest condition that does not allow me to run very quickly, so trying to get up the stairs into the building was very difficult. Thankfully I got to the door before he got to me. Meanwhile, the fucking couple that had been standing across the street when all this started happening had scurried into another building. It was a man and a woman about the same age as me, and they just fucking booked it out of there. I don't want to be that person. Thankfully, the library was open, and there was a guy right at the front circulation desk that asked if I was okay. I was trying to play it off like I was only in there to renew a library card. Once I did actually explain what had happened to me, he offered to walk me to meet my friend or walk me back to the car or to the restaurant we were trying to go to, which I want to be that person for someone else. Which leads me to the safety pins. I don't know if any of you know about the safety pins, but when Brexit happened in the UK, there was a surge of people getting harassed for their race, for being disabled, for being a woman, for being anywhere on the LGBTQ plus spectrum. God, I hope I didn't fuck that up. If I'm using the wrong terms, please tell me. And in place of all of the hate, a lot of people started wearing safety pins on their clothes or wherever to indicate to those people that felt like they were in danger that they were a safe person to talk to that would protect them from whatever was going on, help defend them against the situation, and just let them talk, help hug them, what, whatever that person needed just to be there for them. And I want to use what little platform I have to share this idea because a lot of people have started doing it in the States after the election because there's been a huge surge of just fucking terrifying behavior other than just straight up putting a safety pin onto your shirt or cardigan or coat as I did earlier today. I wanted to come up with some other ideas as far as where to wear safety pins to make yourself as visible as possible. You can even just start with adding some colored beads to it like my friend Jen from Technicolor Moments did with some perler beads. I just did some seed beads but add whatever you want. You can also take a plain chain and add the safety pin as a pendant. You can attach it this way like I'm doing, or string it through the loop right at the top. Take some kind of string, put it through that little looped end, pull it through enough so you have double strands going this way. Wrap it around your wrist. Oh, didn't realize I had a wound on my arm. Then put the two ends through that loop again, and then tie it up. So now you have a safety pin bracelet. These next ones will involve some shepherd's hooks and little tiny safety pins or whatever size you're comfortable with. Open up the end of the shepherd's hook, loop your safety pin over that, and then use pliers to clamp that shut. And now you've got some safety pin earrings. You can also use a big safety pin like a keychain. That's what my friend Jen from Technicolor Moments did when she added the perler beads, which I think was such an awesome idea. Paint safety pins onto a shirt or hoodie or something visible. I have had few worse feelings than I have, like when that guy was chasing me down the street and there was almost nobody around. 
I'm still livid that that couple just hightailed it out of there and I'm so 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 thankful to that person that was inside of the library and that the doors were open because I have no idea what I would have done. I am also starting to take self-defense classes because the limbs are useless to protect myself and not that I'm saying violence is the answer but I want to be able to get out of a situation if one happens again because that's not a good place to be in. I hope this was helpful. I hope I'm doing the right thing. I hope you're all doing okay and taking care of yourselves. Sorry this didn't have any dick jokes in it. We'll get back to those next week. You're all great and I'm so thankful for all of you.